tactile imaging is something that has been devised by Robert Bruce and he created it so that we can work with our subtle bodies and it's a very effective way to do it it's also very easy and I got into it pretty quickly and I do it quite a bit nowadays so this is going to be a solution to a lot of people's problems with blockages or they're having a hard time getting out of body you can use this to fix those problems those are usually the problems that I get messaged with so if you do tactile imaging and you're successful with a session you're probably going to have a significant experience afterwards if you're doing this in your bed in a sleep setting you can do it anywhere you don't really have to be in a meditative state or in a sleepy state or hypnagogic or anything like that you just have to be relaxed so you need to use your imagination to induce a sensation of touch and this sensation of touch will um, create energy movements in your subtle body and after a while it'll become pretty abstract you won't need to look at the individual parts that you're working on you won't need to imagine a paintbrush or a hand it's just going to feel like awareness or warmth that's moving around in your body that's how you're going to um, move energies around and I do this a lot initially it's just muscles relaxing for me because I I'm at my computer so much and after the muscles have been relaxed I can get on with um, moving energies around so I get these weird twitches that occur or releases that indicate that my muscles were like partially contracted and they just release and then after that's done I get blood flow and I can actually feel energy sensations in that area so you're not going to feel the sensations right away if you have you know messed up muscles that are always tense so this is how I got into tactile imaging I tried his system he has a systematic usage of tactile imaging which is called new energy ways v2 it's a free document and system that you can view for yourself on the internet I'll link it in the description and uh, I tried that system it didn't work out too well for me it wasn't any more effective than me just playing around with tactile imaging on my own but I suggest trying his system before you uh, try your own things. So this is what I've done. I did the by the book part where you touch something like the palm of your hand and you memorize the sensation. So you're going to physically touch your hand and you memorize the sensation and then you relax and try to imagine the sensation until it's very realistic. And then you're going to drag that sensation around and you're going to be able to induce these imaginary sensations everywhere and it's going to help drag energies around and manipulate your subtle energy body and I've had a lot of profound experiences from doing this a lot of my more crazy experiences are from doing this practice and it just like increases your ESP and your general health because it's it's doing things that aren't even related to uh, subtle energies are not directly related like relaxing your muscles increasing blood flow um, making you aware of deficiencies in your physical body because you're just drawing awareness around it pinpointing awareness at different points so again I started by that hand practice and I of course tried a system didn't really work out for me so what I started off with uh, beyond that when I start you know a session I will sweep awareness at the soles of my feet because I have this weird I don't have a lot of blood flow in my legs because I sit down at, at my desk a lot I'm a computer programmer and I do this sort of stuff and I do my feet and I open up there's some centers there I would consider them primary they're typically not considered primary but there are large centers in the feet for grounding so I open those up and I start imaging on the front side of my leg and all these releases typically occur because they're messed up muscles and then I can get energy moving through the here and I think I'm just initially grounding stuff because I just have all this uh, stagnant and messed up energies that need to be grounded and that's how I get started I don't think that everybody needs to do it this way or it's not going to benefit them like it benefits me but that's how I do it and I then do general body sweeps like I'll do it's like a it's like a printer scanning movement where you just sweep up and down about at this speed for me and I find the most efficient area of my body and work on that so if I find very specific areas 
in my legs or areas up here, then I'll focus on that and I'll relax those muscles or work on the blockages. Initially, it's just me relaxing muscles and then I'll get over to the blockages and I'll uh, clear some blockages. And uh, it does have some very profound sensations that come with it. You like feel these weird surges of energy going around if you uh, start to get proficient with this practice. When you feel sensations, it's like there's a bunch of layers of skin, like your entire body consists of layers of skin, and you're inducing tactile sensations on these layers. That's what it feels like, at least for me, when energy moves through my body profoundly like a surge. So to recap, my session starts with grounding my feet here, or opening up the grounders, and I know, I always know that there's some muscle tension in the legs here, so I always work the legs out. And then I'll do general body sweeps, and there might be muscles up here that are all messed up or tense, they'll, they'll release, and then I continue to do sweeps even if there aren't any more tense muscles, and then I'll start to see or feel blockages. And when I feel blockages, it's just like it jumps over. Awareness will jump over that area. So if I have a blockage in this uh, area here, this part of my arm, and there's no muscle tension or injury or anything like that, and awareness doesn't go through that area, it's like warmth or something along those lines, depending on how you imagine it. And if it jumps over that area, then there's likely a blockage. And I'll just move energies through here to here. I'll continue to do that, and eventually I'll start feeling it going through this area. Like, it'll continue to jump, but after you do sweeps in this way enough, then it will jump or start to go into that area, and you'll start to feel sensations, energy sensations there. And you can do like spirals here, and uh, that will help out. Because when you have spots where you can't feel energy sensations, it's very hard to hold your awareness on it, so you're not going to immediately do specific work here. You're just going to continue with other parts of the body, open up blockages or sweep between or uh, over that point quite a bit, and uh, eventually you'll feel sensations in that area, and then you can do specific stuff. So you can do a spiral motion. I don't do spiral motions too much anymore, but that's what uh, Robert Bruce recommends, so you can do spiral motions anywhere. The places that I spiral when I do it is either on my hands, the soles of my feet, or somewhere on my head. You can actually work directly on your head right away and have some like really crazy effects. Robert Bruce advises against this because you're not going to have your, your body's not going to be, or your, the rest of your subtle body is not going to be prepared for the energy sensations that you induce up here, or something along those lines. It does, it does really create a crazy effect if you really just do spirals up here and induce all this energy movement in your head. Like uh, I did it once, just as an experiment, because I like to experience random things, even if they're potentially disturbing, and uh, I, it felt like I got flash banged, just without the noise. So Robert Bruce is probably right. You want to work the entire body uh, in general before you do any, any specific work here up in the head. So a lot of times when I do this practice, I would get out of body or I would see my subtle body or I'd see parts of my subtle body and it would be like correcting itself. I would also see subtle energies around me like orbs and stuff even well after I got up. There was one time that I did tactile imaging and I started to get out of body as I was trying to get up out of bed. Like I had to lay back down because I was like continuously decoupling from the body. I would get out and I would look at myself trying to get up out of bed and then I would like go back into my body so I can actually get up. I don't know what I was doing to actually want to get up when that was happening but I really felt the need to get out of bed. So I hope this helps. See you next time.